Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So, 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 we are back with another video, with another banger. Why does it sound like a wannabe YouTuber? Anyways, um, as y'all can see by the title of today's video, once again, your girl is going out of her comfort zone. She's bringing something new to the table. This, I don't know what to title this. It's going to be either like underwater makeup look, underwater low-key drowning makeup look. Like, I don't know. It's going to be something funny, but it's going to, you know, be something dealing with like underwater because that's like the concept of today's video. So yeah, but your girl was honestly not having such the best night last night. So I'm starting off fresh. It's a new day. <sighs> the weather outside is very cloudy and it's been raining all day yesterday. It's supposed to semi be raining today, but mainly cloudy. So I do apologize in advance for the lighting. It's going to be adjusted from being this to maybe even being a little bit lighter just 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 bear with the girl okay <laughs> please i know some of y'all are like girl where are you coming through with these halloween looks though i know i know this i for surprisingly the month is is going by super fast um so i've been like I've been, I've been slacking a little bit, but it's okay though. I'm going to try and get as many looks done as I possibly can before the month is officially over. And I will be starting my Halloween looks very soon. Like as soon as I get done with this look, as soon as I'm done editing and getting the pictures ready to be uploaded and posted, I'm going straight into my Halloween looks because I want to get as many put out as I possibly can. So I've not forgotten because I know I've been hyping it up and I've been hyping y'all up about it so trust me I'm still coming through with those looks okay and by the way I'm pretty sure you guys are wondering like you know what is giving you this inspiration for this underwater makeup look um I'm gonna put the artist or the original original artist um she's actually an amazing painter and she just honestly creates these amazing paintings of um specifically women underwater um for what i'm seeing on her instagram page i'm putting a screenshot right here of what i'm looking at personally um as almost like a reference picture um just to kind of get within the concept of the uh painting itself with the art piece itself but either way it's amazing and this is it I am going to be using my handy dandy pink tablet right here as reference um, personally within this makeup look and before we even get into this video why don't you guys go ahead and hit the subscribe button subscribe to your girl's channel don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video here onto my channel as well don't forget to follow your girl on all her social medias which her Instagram and her Twitter you guys already know if you are watching me desktop version two links up in the banner and if you watch me mobily just go ahead and go to my about section and there should be two links to my social medias there as well and I don't want to make this intro longer than it already needs to be so for not further ado you guys let's go ahead and get into this video Hey you guys, so your girl went ahead and primed off camera. I used the Pop Beauty 24K Face Base Blurring Radiance Primer. And I also used the CoverGirl True Blend Illuminizing Primer as well. It's just to give my skin a little bit of glow for this underwater themed makeup look. And of course your girl went ahead and used um, some of the Black Radiance Sculpting Corrector. Um, in the shade orange, y'all already know this is like my go-to routine. I just went ahead and um, used that to color correct. And then I went ahead and used um, the Full Spectrum Full Matte Foundation by CoverGirl in the shade Deep Golden. It's like my go-to shade. And then of course I'm going to use the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Hazelnut. 
um, to just give myself a little bit of that extra coverage. Um, you don't necessarily have to do any of these steps if you don't want to. You can just go straight with a bare face. But I wanted to personally have a little bit of a base of a face <laughs> before I get started into doing um, the actual makeup look and of course I went in with the makeup revolution um, banana powder I just went ahead and set my t-zone areas only I didn't set around the whole entire face I just did my forehead nose under eyes around my mouth and the chin and of course I went ahead and packed on some of that L'Oreal true blend uh, face powder in the shade coca c8 coca and um of course i went ahead and just added that on to apply it i'm just using a small face brush and then of course i'm going to take the elf mist and makeup setting spray and i'm just going to go ahead and set all of that together darling and by the way, any other makeup products that I use, any other paint products that I use off camera that I didn't show on camera within this tutorial will be in the description box down below. You guys already know, along with discount codes, okay? And the links to all my inspirations for this makeup look. Okay, so now we're getting into this. Now, of course, this is honestly, this is Halloween makeup. This is Halloween face paint, a face paint palette. Sorry, I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. Um, yes, I did get it from Walmart from the drugstore. Don't be judging me um, <laughs> It definitely did do its work. The paint was kind of chunky So basically your girl ended up taking some water and I ended up taking the true blend matte main foundation in the shade light 10 and I basically mixed those two together because of the fact that the Halloween face paint makeup was so Thick, I needed it to kind of thin out so that way I can be able to blend it out easily within the face and especially on my neck um, because for some reason I cannot really apply so much within paint and makeup on my neck too for too too long because it starts getting creasy it starts getting um, very dry and then it starts crumbling up and stuff I don't know neck problems but yeah so basically that's what your girl did within this step of me creating this um, ocean water from the neck uh, pretty much all the way up to my chin and around my mouth um, I took a small paintbrush as y'all can see at the end is where I'm basically mixing it and scooping it out and laying it on my hand my hand was the palette for this whole entire <laughs> makeup look I just kept putting more paint on my hand more paint on my hand more paint on my hand and of course, once I get all of that together, I'm going to go ahead and take some of my Aerospun Translucent Powder in the shade Naturally Neutral. And I'm just going to go ahead and set it all into place. It doesn't even matter if it's Halloween makeup um, because at the end of the day, face paint, regardless, it's still going to get creased up. It's, it's still going to, you know, be all creasy and stuff. You want to make sure you set it no matter what. Okay, I learned that from the best. From Desi Perkins to Patrick Starr, you always want to set it. No matter what, whether it's face makeup, the expensive makeup, whatever, just make sure you get your translucent powder and set it. Um, I prefer personally neutral to almost like pure white translucent powders just because it helps bring out within the vibrant colors. Um, but yeah, so basically your girl is taking some dark blue paint and I'm basically painting within the perimeter work focusing it into the center of that light blue just so it can have a nice transition y'all just picture a a beautiful ocean with light blue turquoise dark blue mixed with purple a vibrant purple light purple light blue this is basically what your girl had envisioned in her mind of what i wanted my neck to look like so that's basically what i was doing throughout this whole entire time and i've been taking very small precise paint brushes to really make sure i get that image coming to life and so Honestly, it's just me making sure that I'm blending everything out as best as I can, but also creating those lines within the vibrant colors that I wanted to do, which was dark purple, um, vibrant purple, light blue, and a light purple. But I'm also going in with um, some blue eyeshadows within the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil eyeshadow palette. Um, I'm going in with those just to set on top of the paint so that way the b color can actually be a really, really really vibrant because the fact that I'm mixing the face paint with foundation it kind of turned the color a little bit more on the cool tone and it, it, it made it a little bit lighter it took all the vibrant out of the blue so that's basically what I had to do now I'm getting into adding the details within the light blue and the light purple 
And so basically I just mix um, blue paint and purple paint with white paint, of course. And I just went ahead and took a small precise paintbrush and I just kind of created some more streaks within my neck just to kind of give it a little bit more color, give it a little bit more of an effect. Your girl really went detailed on this neck, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> I, I never went so detailed on my neck before. I felt very impressed with myself. Now I'm taking some white paint and now I'm going to create the bubbles. Now bubbles are easy to do y'all. It's basically just one big old circle and you kind of want to make the line a little bit thick on one end and very thin on the other just so you can really get that illusion of the fact like oh it's a bubble. But at the same time you can make them as small as you want as big as you want. This is just how I personally wanted to do mines. I did mines like more medium size and smaller. Um, but it's all up to you and how you want to create your bubbles on your neck. It's all it's all up to you. It's all up to you and what you want to do. But this is just how your girl personally did it. See how it looks? You know what I mean? I did a little stuff on time. You know what I'm saying? A little stuff on time. <laughs> but yeah it was really cool to do this and honestly once I did the bubbles I was like okay now I see it coming to life because at first when I was doing this I was like bro this is not going to turn out the any way I wanted it to to be but I kept believing in myself I kept going and I actually did come out exactly the way I wanted it to come out of course y'all see my hand full of paint as usual and so now I'm starting to focus on the actual face so I went ahead and kind of added a little bit of a light green I wanted it to be like a very vibrant green but once again I was mixing foundation with paint with the face paint so it didn't turn out to be that way um so I went ahead and created a green mixed with a blue and of course now I'm going in with some eyeshadow and I'm blending that green mixed in with the blue and giving it more of a little bit of that turquoise color as well and this is once again all from the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil eyeshadow palette. And now I'm focusing on the structure of my face. This was honestly kind of hard because, <laughs> and of course, I was also looking at other reference pictures of recreations and inspired looks um, from the original artist who I personally also got inspired by as well. I was looking at theirs too and I was just like, how in the F did they do this? Like, I was struggling, but I kind of worked it in my own way to kind of see like, you have to create layers. You have to create layers within lines to really give it that illusion like you're underwater. Hey you guys, so I know y'all are like, girl, what the hell did you do? Listen, I'm gonna come back on camera and do this side of the face. I just kind of got a little bit difficult. Um, hey you guys, so I know y'all are like, girl, what the hell did you do? Listen, I'm gonna come back on camera and do this side of the face. I just kind of got a little bit difficult um, with how to start this. So I kind of took some time off camera to really try and see the vibe that I'm going with it and now I kind of feel like I'm I got the rhythm of how it's supposed to look but of course I wanted to come back on camera to show you guys this little cute little smoky eye that I'm about to do but yeah like I said I'm gonna go ahead and do this other side on camera of course we still have to do the bubbles on the face as well so Okay, so now moving into this eye makeup look, I'm basically just taking some light blue and I'm adding that as a transition color. I already did that. Now I'm taking the turquoise shade in the palette and I'm just adding that, smoking it out over the eyelid. I'm literally having the smallest amount of black and I'm literally smoking that within the eyelid as well. Um, I'm also packing it in the crease and then kind of going my way down and making sure it's all covering the whole entire eyelid. And then I also took a small precise eyeshadow brush and really defined the crease as well. Um, just to really give it that smoked out effect. You know what I'm saying? And what I also did was I took some turquoise shade and I took black. And I took like a really beautiful dark blue. And I really wanted to define these lines within the face. Because I really wanted to give it that structure of like okay. These are really defined lines within underwater and the fact that it's blue and turquoise really does blend in with the rest of like down on the neck with all the blues and light blues and turquoise and everything else. It just looked really cool. So I was just like let me make sure I'm doing that. So 
Now we are moving on to the bridge of the nose. We're transitioning from the bridge of the nose onto the other side of the cheek. So I started with purple because that's where I kind of worked my way then. And I'm basically just adding the colors that I decided to want to put on the other side, which is like light blue, um, a very vibrant blue. You can do any, honestly, you can do any color you want. I decided to go all the way colorful. Um, I have a lot of kind of like pastel colors in there. I have um, some neutral colors in there, some vibrant colors in there. It's all up to you and what you want to do. This is just what Kanisha wanted to do. And I liked, honestly, how it turned out because I didn't want mine to look exactly like everybody else's that's you know has made a makeup look like this i wanted mine to be different that's what makes me stand out i personally think and i like how this specifically turned out so i was like you know i'm gonna keep going with it but you don't necessarily have to do like me you can make yours a little bit more realistic and add like a not a lot of neutral shades and you know just go with the flow on what you want to do but now I'm basically deciding to add a lot of more blue and black within the lines um, with going more upwards and just so that way it can really look like I'm coming up from within the water and you really want to give it that shadow. I feel like it was really giving the shadow within the lines with me doing that, if that makes any type of sense. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just don't want straight lines seeing through the whole entire cheek. You kind of want the illusion of the water coming within the sides of the face within those lines as well. And so once I get done with that, I'm working my way up to the eyes and I'm creating these white lines on the side of my eyelids as if I'm squinting just to kind of really give it that um, structure of the fact that my eyes are squinting and then of course with the rest of the lines on the face. And I kind of highlighted my nose just a little bit with some white um, eyeshadow just to also give it that sheen shine within my illusion of being underwater. And now I'm focusing on my lips. I went ahead and already course shaded them like a kind of reddish pink shade and I just added some black within the inner corners of my lips and now I'm just highlighting them with white paint and now we are finally finally focused on the bubbles so we're just basically creating bubbles from small size to medium size to big size it's all what you want to do I decided to create a lot more coming from my nose than rather from my mouth and my nose but I kind of low-key regretted it after I did the look. I'm like, I should have added some bubbles on my lips just to really be extra with it. But it was already done. So it was just like one of those things where it's like, hey, it is what it is. But you can do that if you want to. I personally suggest it. Um, but yeah, your girl was basically just creating bubbles. I started from my nostrils on my nose, worked my way down around my mouth, had some on my cheek, worked some on the bridge of my nose as well, even added some on my eyelids, worked my way up to the forehead. Your girl was just going in, okay? And I also added some details within lines on my forehead as well with actual eyeshadow. Um, I used some turquoise blue, some purple, and I also mixed in with a little bit of black and brown as well. Just to, once again, give it that somewhat of an illusion. Now, when it comes to these bubbles, <sighs> I feel like I made the lines too thick. I feel like I should have really tried to make them as thin as possible, which I did. I tried my best. I really did. They just ended up being thick. And on top of that, I shouldn't have done them all white. I should have left some like light blue. I should have left some a little bit like a light purple. I should have had different type of colors of the bubbles. I shouldn't have them all with white around it, if that makes any sense. You know what I mean? So, your girl should have just did that, but apparently she didn't. So, she just rolled with whatever she was doing. So, I added light blue, light purple, and light pink inside the bubbles, which I thought was really cool. And I thought it kind of went with the look and with it being all colorful and stuff. And at first, I outlined it with the black radiance eyeliner pencil, but it was too defined with the lines. So, I went ahead and went over it with white paint basically what I did off camera and now I'm just setting the face with the elf makeup mist and setting spray and I'm just fanning my face away you guys and this is pretty much it to the finished look do y'all see the underwater vibes okay you guys and this is the finished look honestly I love it um I feel like it's not gonna really come all the way there um until like I you know add my little skills to it a little bit um not too much because clearly I don't think I need that much editing 
um, from what I just did. <laughs> but honestly, I love it. It looks awesome. And oh, I was also going to put some inspiration um, pictures that I got from Instagram um, within this inspired um, makeup look today um, in the description box down below on the link. Um, some of the ones that I thought were really awesome and really, really cool. And honestly, that really inspired me as well. Um, on top of the original artist and what uh, she does is just so cool and so amazing. Um, and yeah. Speaking of the artist, if you guys could please um, go to her Instagram and share this video with her and let her know that this was honestly a true inspiration. If it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't even thought of creating this along with the other inspiration. Once again, like I said, I will link in the description box down below. But if you guys like this video, if you guys like this look, if you guys like this tutorial, why don't you guys go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up and then comment down below any other makeup look suggestions that you guys would like for me to do here on my channel and then watch you guys also go ahead and follow your girl on all her social medias you guys already know which is her instagram and her twitter do not forget to hit that subscribe button okay subscribe to your girl's channel and do not forget to hit the notification bell as well so you guys can be notified every time i upload videos here like this on my channel as well and like I said, you guys, I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this get created. I hope you guys like this look. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.